Hi, I'm Becky Railwark, Executive Director for the Beaver Watershed Alliance. And we're here today at beautiful Lake at Atlanta Park here in Rogers, Arkansas. And we're here to talk about low impact development and how those solutions can help communities manage stormwater. So here in Northwest Arkansas, we're blessed with 45 to 50 inches of rainfall each year. So rain falls on um, impervious surfaces like rooftops, parking lots, roads, things like that. And then that rain picks up oil, grease, uh, particles, and takes them down to a stream, which goes into another stream and eventually reaches Beaver Lake. That can be a challenge because Beaver Lake is our drinking water source for over half a million people in Northwest Arkansas. We're looking to work with developers and communities to find solutions to slow down that runoff, absorb those pollutants, and one of those solutions is low impact development. So low impact development is a toolbox, really. You have all kinds of different practices that you can use. Uh, pervious pavers instead of uh, asphalt or concrete. Um, you have rain gardens and bioswells that have vegetation in them that absorb water. And also things like filter strips and planting trees can all be a part of low impact development. Some of the things that the Alliance works on at Lake Atalanta is invasive plant removals. So we work on removing things like invasive bush honeysuckle, um, multi-flora rose, and privet. Not only is that good for wildlife in the area, but it also helps with naturalizing our ecosystems. In the case of like a heavy rain event, we're not seeing sediment being washed into the creeks. It's staying in place um, because of those natural systems through native plants. This, this is our uh, constructed wetland. So we created this. We pumped the water up here right beside this pavilion. It all flows down here and then it kind of spreads out and creates a bit of a pool area. And we got the cattails and the wetland plants. And that's what helps filter the water, uptake the nutrients, and then it flows through there, filters, and then, you know, obviously then kids can play in it before it flows back into the creek. But it's, it's been a very big success. And I think part of that is you can just look at the parking lot and see how many people are here and how many people are out playing in it. We're really fortunate to have the City of Rogers as a partner. They've been a leader in managing stormwater through their different frameworks and policies at the city level. Um, down to the site level by installing things like low impact development throughout the city. So we appreciate Rogers and their efforts to keep water clean and healthy for Beaver Lake. So our primary and first goal in Rogers is to protect citizens and property from the flooding by maintaining surface drainage, creating development standards, uh, preservation of open space policies and best practices to comply with state, federal and local requirements. So our second goal is to improve surface and subsurface waters for aquatic life and for other beneficial uses. So in Rogers, we promote pollution protection educational efforts to take action to enhance erosion and illicit discharge detection and compliance efforts and implement best management practices consistent with national standards. Goal three in this stormwater management plan is to preserve and maintain surface waters, wetlands, and riparian areas. This is accomplished through the plan review process and permitting programs, as well as through improvement programs such as stream bank restoration. Goal four is that citizen businesses and industries understand the need to protect water quality. The city works with the University of Arkansas Extension Office to develop targeted education and outreach technical assistance programs regarding practices keeping systems clean and clear. My job is to educate residents of Northwest Arkansas on stormwater and what their impacts are and how that might affect our water quality. So let's think about what you can do to keep that pollution out of our stormwater. When it rains, go outside, take a look at where the flow paths are. Is the water flowing down? Is it carrying any sediment with it? Is it clear? Are there potential for pollutants to get in there? What about any stockpiled materials? Are there coverings over that stockpiled material? Is there an opportunity for, the, for sediment to become loose and cause erosion? Check out your dumpsters. Are the lids closed? Are there plugs in place? Is there litter on the ground? 
Look under your equipment for oil leaks that might have happened. And remember that stormwater is a way to help protect our creeks and streams. It's not a pollution, but it's a pollution prevention mechanism. We can keep our water clean. And so when it hits our wetlands, our streams and our creeks, it can be a tool to keep those clean. You know, the Ozarks is a really great place to recreate. Uh, a lot of us love to go fishing and swimming and play with our children in our local creeks and streams. And we rely on clean water supplies to do all of those things. So we're really fortunate to work with so many partners that work together to help keep the natural state natural.